so hi all so in today's session we are mainly going to discuss about the software package management guys so this is the most important topic of your linux operating system if you if you looking for a career as a linux system administrator so you should be very good at uh, software package management uh, so software package management why it is important because in windows also right you know if you go to windows desktop you can see right if you have to install some additional software on top of your windows operating system like vlc media player is there right guys like you have to install the vmware workstation whether it's a google chrome or whether it's a any kind of a software or application team viewer is there right your uh, zoom meeting is there your skype meeting is there so these things comes in a package so you need to download these packages and you need to install these packages right guys and in windows also if you go and you can see right in your particular uh, control panel if you go in windows you can see right if you click on these programs you are able to see there are multiple packages over here right so we either you have to install these packages to uh, uh, work in this particular application right this is what we need to do and if you don't want these packages you are going to uninstall so same way here also in a linux operating system how we can manage manage okay or how we can uh, manage the software in a linux operating system or how you can install a package okay how you can download those packages so those things how we can do it in a linux operating system is especially done by two utilities guys so you need to understand to manage the software in a linux operating system there are two utilities what is the first utility the first utility is nothing but that is called rpm so this is mainly for red hat uh, operating system red hat linux okay so rpm it's not like that it's only work for a red hat so uh, it will it will work for most of the linux operating system you can say but the most common which is used widely across all the linux distribution or across all the linux flavor is yum so these are the two utilities by use of these two utilities guys either you can install uninstall verifying querying and updating your particular software packages guys so let's directly jump into this one we'll start with this rpm first and we'll see what is this rpm guys so as i said very clearly there are two utilities uh, which all those two utilities will be discussing during the session is that is rpm and yum rpm is nothing but this is a red hat package manager and yum is nothing but this is a yellow dog updater modifier right right guys are you able to understand my point correct so let's discuss about the first utility guys that is red hat package manager okay so in most of the uh, red hat linux operating system it's going to work okay and uh, in other flavors also uh, most of the linux operating system this particular rpm is going to work out guys so what exactly this rpm is very simple very easy you no need to confuse guys what is that rpm is a powerful software management tool right so this is a powerful software management tool for what purpose you are doing for installing uninstalling verifying querying means you have to query whether the package is installed or not okay and updating means what installing means if you if you need this package suppose vs ftpd if you want to install ftpd ftp if you want to install nfs if you want to install or any packages you want to install install on top of your linux operating system then you can using the installing right and if you want to remove the package whether if you want to uninstall the package then it is very simple uninstalling verifying means what you want to see whether the package is installed or not correct whether you want to verify that uh, package is consistent or not right guys querying means you are querying that what all the list of available packages are there right guys so you can see vs ftpd is available or not vs ftpd is installed or not so we can do the querying and updating is nothing but whether if you want to upgrade the version from v1 to v2 or suppose 1.1 to 1.2 so then you are using going to use the updating correct it is very simple it's going to tell you that rpm is a powerful software management tool for installing uninstalling verifying querying and updating the software packages guys okay so now there are some features okay before going into this one okay let me tell you uh, some of the features of this rpm packages which is exactly just now i have explained it is just a more elaboration of this whatever i have told just remember these four things one is uh, what is that guys installing uninstalling verifying querying and updating five things you need to remember that's it nothing more than that you need to remember for a red hat package manager if you are new also if you are experienced also guys okay 
so the next thing is some features so what is that feature guys rpm can verify the software packages obviously rpm can verify the software packages by, by verifying it rpm can be served as a powerful search engine to search for a software yes if you want to search okay if you want to querying that whether the package is available or not okay so that is what the feature is guys okay now come here over here so i let me show you uh, let me connect to the server okay so you can see we are going to connect to this server okay what is the ip of this server guys so 192.168 correct so this is the ip of this server let's connect to this server first okay root okay and just click okay this is the mobile action multiple times i have explained you during the previous sessions also and there is a dedicated session uh, for this mobile action also guys okay just log in to this server so you can see now you have logged into this server right guys correct first let me show you how rpm packages are look like that guys you need to understand that one okay so if you go to this directory where i have copied all my rpm packages okay so where ftp okay pub under rhel6 okay so if you do ls over here so there is something called rhel6.7 okay guys just do a ll over here so you are able to see there are uh, different uh, directories will be there files will be there okay so and the next thing is if you go to this under packages we just go to under this packages and do ll over here okay so there are multiple packages are you able to see guys if you do with you remember right if you if you want to see this one okay you can do less also correct so directory you can uh, either you can use uh, this ll so you are able to see the uh, what also these are the extension of rpm dot rpm is there right guys so are you able to getting my point guys here nothing what all those features i was talking about before going to do any uh, hands on part or uh, uh, practice we need to understand first what all features are there it's very clear the first thing what i told you guys rpm can verify software packages so there are commands to see that how you can verify a software packages okay that is what here also you can see verifying that is what you can do it with this one now the next thing is rpm can be served as a powerful search engine to search for the softwares okay so you can by use of this rpm we have set up commands in like how, now i'll be explaining you how to search for that one suppose if you want to search for this package so how you can search for this package okay so this is what the next feature is what is the third third feature guys component software etc can be upgraded using rpm without having to reinstall them okay so some of the updating as i said very clearly this is a powerful software management tool so you no need to uninstall the package again even if you want to uh, update the package of same package that also we can do it that is what the third statement is uh, just now i have spoken about guys okay now the fourth point is installing reinstalling can be done with a ease using rpm that's what very simple there are simple commands is there by use of you can directly install and uninstall within a second guys okay you no need to wait for anything it's very uh, simple and easy just few commands are there by use of that those rpm commands we can uninstall and install your rpm packages right what is the next point guys during the updates rpm handle configuration file carefully so that the customization is not lost means what it is telling while you are doing the updation suppose this package is there for example any package any package you can take it from here guys it's not nothing like vsftpd or anything so suppose this vino package is there so what is the version 2.28.1.9 right so if you want to upgrade this package okay so if you upgrading this package so there will not be any you can say uh, configuration changes will uh, will be happen to here okay there is no particular and your customization is not going to lost okay so whatever the changes you are going to do it's not going to impact the existing package guys are you are you getting my point are you able to understand my point so let me take you to, to the proper hands on part so you'll understand better on this uh, red hat package manager correct guys so whatever now uh, guys so uh, whatever the real time hands on production environment 
practice or the thing I am going to show over here is is as per my Linux system administrator. Okay, experience. So please understand this one carefully. Okay, because same thing you can go and apply into your production environment, guys. Okay, correct. So let's directly started with the what all things we need to do with the RPM. Okay, how we can do, how we can achieve uh, installation, uninstallation, verifying, querying, and updating. Okay, with your uh, RPM package manager, that is Red Hat package manager, guys. Right? Correct. So let me show you that one. So here, so the next thing is, you can see these are the some of the set of commands. Okay, uh, by use of this set of commands, we can install uninstall verifying querying and updating your packages guys so these are the real time hands on production environment practice which i'm showing in front of you is as per my linux system administrator experience guys okay fine so let's directly jump into what is the first thing guys rpm hyphen qa okay if you want to query if you want to what is that rpm hyphen qa is nothing but it is to check all the install packages in the system so if you just want to see what all install packages are there so you remember guys if anything you want to understand in a linux operating system i have explained you many times what you need to do first always always do either man rpm so you are able to get what exactly this detail of this rpm guys that is what red hat package manager right now the next thing is what you need to do what all options are available with this rpm right tell me yes or no guys correct correct so you what you need to do is this is what and next thing is what all options rpm hyphen hyphen help okay so you are able to see these many packages right so you are able to see these many packages whether you want to query whether you want to verify whether you want to install or multiple things right operations you can do with with this rpm right guys correct so the first command here with rpm is rpm hyphen qa to check all the installed packages in the system so how i can do this one rpm hyphen qa correct enter so you are going to see all the installed packages not the available package and not the uninstalled package this is all the install which is already installed in the system so if you run this command you are able to come to know with all so you can see multiple uh, packages are already installed right guys now the next command is which you need to understand over here if you want to see a particular package suppose vs ftpd is used for uh, ftp okay if you want to configure ftp server then you need to install vs ftpd so if you want to see this particular vs ftpd is installed in your system or not so you just need to do rpm hyphen qa vs ftpd guys okay so if it's returning with some of the value means with vs ftpd package name complete means this package is installed guys okay that is what so now the next thing you can see to check a particular package is installed or not so with the rpm hyphen qa you can come to know this particular package is installed or not correct guys so what is the next command guys rpm hyphen qa hyphen hyphen test to check a package is consistent or not if you want to check a consistency before installing that package you want to see the consistency of that package with that one that package is consistent or not okay so that we can achieve with the rpm hyphen qa hyphen hyphen test okay so here if you suppose you want to check the consistency of any of the package okay for example here multiple packages are there right guys tell me yes or no multiple packages are there right any of the packages you can take uh, and you can see the consistency of that package okay so let me see if i do ll okay and python okay so yes what all python packages are there so with the python p you can see python right so with this python package i just want to see okay the consistency of this package so how we can check this one guys so if you want to see the consistency of this package you remember what is the command rpm okay hyphen qa and what you need to do guys hyphen hyphen test and you need to give the package name and enter so it's clearly telling guys its test may be only be specified during package installation test may be only in, in, uh, and uh, erasure and building okay so if you install this package okay so then only you will be able to test this package okay are you getting my point yes or no guys 
so what it's telling it's very clearly rpm test only be specified during the package installation right so how we can ensure testing means consistency how you can change so the next command is that that is what the next command is this is why we are getting that so if you want to install the package right if you remember this command this uh, rpm right i said installing uninstalling verifying querying and updating right so if you want to install the package then we need to use rpm hyphen ivs to install a package by using rpm command okay and then there only as per this particular statement we need to give hyphen hyphen test there only it is going to if you want to install that package then you need to give I, rpm hyphen ivh hyphen hyphen test then only this hyphen hyphen test is going to work guys correct so this is something which is real time production environment i am showing you the troubleshooting i am showing in front of you guys okay so this is how we need to troubleshoot in production environment also so how we can uh, do the testing so first you need to give rpm hyphen ivh hyphen hyphen test and then you need to give the package name guys so what it's going to do so you need to understand over here is to check whether a package is consistent or not before installing it okay so that is how we can check ipm rpm hyphen ivh is nothing means i is for installation v is for verbose and h is for hash format okay this is what called rpm hyphen ivh okay so what we need to do rpm hyphen i okay what we need to do rpm hyphen ivh okay and if you want to see more detail so you know how to see the uh, more detail of these options right rpm hyphen f and help if you do so you can come to know how what is i what is v and what is h correct and hyphen hyphen test now you give hyphen hyphen test and now you need to give this package name enter so you are see it's telling it's preparing right tell me so now it is telling it's already installed guys are you getting my point it is checking that consistency is also fine and the package is already installed guys okay so you can take any other package take any any of this package okay uh, this this package we can take it now do rpm okay hyphen and uh, ivh okay hyphen hyphen test okay and you need to give this one so it is telling fail dependency see this is the consistency because you cannot install this package until unless if you resolve the dependency okay so first you need to resolve it is telling error fail dependency first you need to install the dependency and then you need to install this package guys are you getting my point okay so this is how hyphen hyphen test works over here now the next thing is just what is the next thing is how you can install a package in a red hat uh, linux operating system or most of the linux operating system with rpm right rpm hyphen ivh okay so how we can do i have already told you what is ivh so we can take any of the package and we will try to install okay some of the package let me show you how we can install this package guys okay so any of the package you can take it from here okay um for example uh, we are going to take this one so okay guys so we are going to install the telnet package okay so let me install the telnet package so we'll come to know okay it's available or not yes you can see telnet package is there right so how we can install this package rpm hyphen ivh and you need to give the package name guys so you can see telnet is installing right so this is how we can install the telnet guys okay so now your telnet is installed now the next thing is you remember right so now you can check telnet is installed or not how we can check telnet is installed or not so rpm hyphen qa and you need to give the package name how we can do that one rpm hyphen qa and you need to give the package name telnet correct this is what correct so you can see it's giving the output means telnet is now installed right guys are you getting my point so these are the commands till now we have understand rpm hyphen qa to query all the installed packages in the system rpm hyphen qa and the package name means which particular package if you want to see is installed or not rpm hyphen qa hyphen hyphen test if you want to see the consistency of a package and rpm hyphen ivh if you want to install the package now the next thing is if you want to uninstall the package how we can uninstall the package guys rpm hyphen e is the command to remove a package or to uninstall the package let's see how we can do this one if you same want to uninstall this package rpm hyphen e okay and you need to give this telnet package name you just give sort name also that is also fine just uh, try it out with this one okay enter so it's giving you like 
not installed so it you need to give the entire package name over here guys okay so how we can give the first you search the same package is installed or not with this rpm hyphen qa okay take this one okay and what you need to do next is just give it like this okay so it's going to uninstall now the package is installed now if i'll run the same command if the package is installed or not if you run the same command rpm hyphen qa correct rpm hyphen qa until net now it's not going to give any output because your package is uninstalled guys guys are you getting my point yes or no if you have any doubt any query you can write it back to me i'll try to answer as as earliest as possible okay now the next thing is if to see the information about a package to see the information about a package that is called rpm hyphen qip is the command okay rpm okay hyphen qip is the command and suppose this telnet is only there okay if you want to see the information so as of now it's not giving you because this package has to install first so let me install this package once again rpm hyphen ivh okay and you need to give this package name over here so uh, what is the issue guys over here we need to troubleshoot this one rpm hyphen ivh and we need to install telnet right that is what we need to do guys right first we are going to install this package so let's install this package guys same command i am going to execute over here once again okay so you can do this one try it out one more time it is going to because it's going to take some time okay to uh, sorry uh, this is to uninstall the package if you want to install the package what we need to do guys so we have already installed the rpm uh, sorry telnet package right now we have to install the package so how we can install the package so by the use of this command you can install the package see now the package is installed now you run this command okay what is that command guys rpm hyphen qip and the in, if you want to see the information about the package okay rpm hyphen qip and you need to give the package name guys over here okay so you are able to see all the information so remember this qip only works for a package which is installed not for a package which is uninstalled guys or which is removed okay so how you can check see this one very clearly it is showing okay this is a telnet package okay what is the version of this one what is the release of this one okay uh, what is the application and uh, internet okay applications and internet what is the size of this one signature packer summary so each and everything when it is build date is there correct what is the source of this rpm okay license is bsd okay so each and every information you are going to get by using this qip okay now the next thing is just to see the information about the installed packages same thing it is okay only the installed packages same same information you are going to get rpm hyphen qi okay and you need to give the package name guys what is that package name which is installed already this one okay so it's it's giving you it's telling is as of now this package telnet is not installed it's telling but it is installed right correct this package is installed right so if you want to see the detailed information so i would suggest always use this hyphen qip instead of qi okay and you are just checking seeing with to see the information about the installed packages so always use this qip to see the information of that particular uh, package which is installed already now the next to check the package for a particular command now you understand this one to check the package of a particular command you know something uh, there are many commands are there what is cd cd is also a command mkdir is also a command right so these are the commands okay so which is also a command okay so all the time i use this who am i right this is also a command right so if you want to see a specific package means to check the package of a particular command i'm not talking about package i'm talking about the command so for this command who am i okay so if you use who am i or which suppose if you do which okay understand this one whi ch which and you need to give who am i so it's going going to give you the path understanding my point so you understand from where this command is running guys so understand so it's going to give you the path that is what if you want to see the particular package okay for a particular package path from where okay so that you are going with the which command is there this is nothing to do with rpm this is something additional i am providing with you guys so first you need to understand uh, suppose for uh, cat command okay so you are running which okay 
so why we are doing this you need to understand this one guys okay so to check the package of a particular command first check the installed location are you getting my point guys first if you if you if you want to check the package for a particular command okay so first check the install location of that command okay for example you are doing which okay just understand this one w h i c h which and you need to give cat command okay so you are getting this path right from here only right guys are you able to understand my point now use the following command what command you need to use just try to understand this one guys okay rpm iphone okay q f rpm hyphen q f and just give this part just give this path just you will understand what i am doing over here so you are able to understand see this is the package name guys are you able to understand my point now you have understand where so if you are only searching for a package which is already installed but if you are not suppose you 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 are not able to find out that package okay so you are not understanding where that package is installed in which path it is installed right so first you need to uh, search with the command for example again i am telling you which okay and you what you need to do guys just mkdir enter enter this one so from where it is from this path now the next thing is what we need to do is rpm hyphen qf okay qf and you need to give this particular path so are you getting this particular package guys are you able to understand my point yes or no okay this is what the next point is here over here that is what i have told you this is why which i am using over here this is the reason i am using which okay to check the package of a particular command first check the install location of a command okay now the next thing is if you have to install a package forcefully if you have to install the package forcefully then you need this path guys if you have to install a package forcefully then in the, that case you need this path to install that package forcefully are you getting my point yes or no guys clear clear so this is why i am using this one guys okay now the next thing is that is your rpm hyphen qlc to see the configuration files of a installed packages if you run this command called rpm hyphen qlc so all the packages there will be a configuration file okay so to see the configuration files of a installed packages what you need to do is rpm hyphen qlc and what is the package which we have installed just now okay that is still net see it's not it's not giving you any information as of now so what we need to do here over here is just give this still net guys so it's not giving any information so just do do this command rpm hyphen qlc okay vsftpd okay so this is how okay sometimes it's not going to give you the configuration uh, full configuration files uh, in some of the packages but uh, you will be to see the configuration files of a uh, installed packages okay you can see with this rpm because vsftpd is already installed okay so these are the configuration files of a vsftpd so right sometimes we need to configure uh, the ftp server for that we need this configuration files right in the ftp session you can go ahead and you can check in the ftp where uh, there i have configured this vsftpd.conf so if you don't know okay which file to configure and if bsftpd is installed so by using this command rpm hyphen qlc you can see the configuration file related to vsftpd guys okay now the next command is what is that next command suppose to install a package without installing dependency just now you remember what is that guys if you remember properly we have got this error if you properly remember uh, just now we have received that failed dependency right we have received this one correct yes you can see over here right what is this they are it's not able to install this one right we are not able to install this one then how you are going to install this kind of a packages are you going to leave that one no not at all possible being a linux administrator you need to find a way right so how you are going to install these packages so if you want to install these packages then you need to use this command guys hyphen hyphen no deps means to install a package without installing a dependency so how we can do this one just do it rpm hyphen ivh hyphen hyphen no deps correct hyphen hyphen no deps 
what is that command guys you can see over here come hyphen hyphen dips d p s okay d e p s and you need to give the package name now install see now it is installed tell me it is installed or not yes it is installed earlier it was it was not installing because of failed dependency so this is how we can resolve issues in your production environment guys are you getting my point and these are the interview questions only this is very common interview question if your package is not installing by your rpm how you are going to install that package with uh, uh, rpm only how you are going to resolve that dependency we need to skip that one this is how we need to do that one okay because it is hell lot of a task to do one by one one by one you cannot resolve all the dependency if you have to install a package right correct now the next thing is if you have to update a package to update a particular package which is already installed that is what we need to do then rpm hyphen uvh is the command suppose a package telnet is already installed okay or vsftpd is already installed so if you want to update first check what is the current version of this rpm hyphen qa vsftpd okay what is the current version of this one so you can see this one if you want to update this package rpm hyphen qa u v h okay and you need to give the package name guys okay enter so are you able to see because this is the latest version only if it is not a latest version okay so it's going to update here so what packages will it is here it is showing as of now if you run the command again it's going to give you the same output the reason is because this is the latest packages which we have installed now just run this rpm hyphen qa and telnet okay okay so you are able to see this package now just run to update this one guys rpm hyphen u v what is that u v h correct this is what correct u v h for a particular package and you need to give the package name okay just give telnet okay enter so it is telling fail no such file or a directory it's telling it is not installed okay but yeah in this case i am telling you this is how we need to update a package so this is how i can show you because this is the latest package already is installed in your uh, red hat linux operating system so it's not going to update into some other versions okay it is already updated one so this is how we can update if a package is not up to that up to date so you need to up to date by using uvh command so guys this these these are the very important command with the rpm utility which we have seen just now okay so thank you for watching this video okay if you have any doubt any queries you can write it back to me i'll try to answer as as earliest as possible